Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Breaking news. Buhari was shocked that Oshomole disqualified me from APC primaries. Obaseki reveals. Wow. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time we're reaching you today. By now, it's no longer a news that Ad, uh, Adam Sushumole, the former national chairman of APC, disqualified the person of Godwin Obaseki from the APC primaries, telling him that he was not qualified because he felt his result to be a discrepancy. This is the same person who has been a governor in the first tenure. If APC have done their due diligence as they should, and that was what happened in Bayesa, where the national, uh, the national uh, uh, chairman and the committee qualified as a, a candidate and at the end of the day was found that his deputy had no result uh, what he presented was fraudulent and they were disqualified apparently the second runner-up became the governor the pdp candidate so what we are saying now is the case of uh you know everybody's been asking Oshomole the same question over and over again the same governor with the same result had to go through the screening process of pdp and scale through successfully and today he's a flag bearer of pdp well uh we don't know exactly what happened but if you if you know if you've been following us you will know that there is more to it than beneath the eyes it was as a result of discrepancies between the two men in the sense that uh, the person of governor Obaseki did not agree to terms and conditions slated down by Ushomole, his predecessor. Anyway, my people, let's get on to the news of Gordon Obaseki's revealing that uh, Buhari was not aware that he was disqualified from APC. Governor Gordon Obaseki of Edo State has said President Muhammad Buhari and lots of, on, of stakeholders in the All Progressive Congress were shocked that Comrade Adams Oshomole, the former national chairman of APC party, will mastermind his disqualification from the party's primary. Recall that Obaseki met with the president before his disqualification and later defeated to the People Democratic Party few days after he, he emerged the party candidate for the September 19th governorship election of the People Democratic Party. When asked what the president's reaction was during their meeting and governors, say, the governor said the president was shocked as he had never believed Oshomole could go to that extent and to that length of disqualifying him. Obaseki said that his unjust disqualification led to the dissolution of Oshomole led National Working Committee, NWC. I think for me, everybody was shocked and even the president didn't know that, didn't know they would do, he would do that and even to that extent the president did not believe Oshomole could do that the president is not a man that talks much but expect everybody to be reasonable every time i have interacted with him he says people should do their work so i am not sure he believes that they would get to the extent they got to i am not surprised therefore that after i left those reactions followed also speaking on his relationship with Bola Tinubu, the party national chairman Obaseki said, he is our father. We owe him so much. We owe so much to him. I believe when you have a father that has done so well and helped propagate a new system, you should really pull back and sit down and see what he has created naturally. So my relationship with him is not different from what it is even now. Gordon Obaseki also expressed that Ob Oshomole went to every extent he could do possible, including saying his results were not correct. And even aside, he said his NYC certificate, there was an omitted letter. That could have easily been resolved, for I wrote to NYC as a candidate who passed through the scheme and they sent me a corrected uh, certificate with 
with an apology that there was an omission in my name. These are issues that could have simply been resolved, but because he was hell bound and he has promised to pay me back in my coin for not allowing him to rule the state in Proxit. That is why he keeps disqualifying me and did everything possible and is back now even in a do state to say to the people I am a bad product. How can I change overnight from being the very mastermind, the director, the administrator of his administration according to him that made him succeed in office to the bad products. Africans, Nigerians, a do state that is all that happened. Well, Nigerians, you've heard it all. That's Governor Gordon Obaseki speaking, saying that even President Muhammadu Buhari was thoroughly shocked and surprised by the disqualification that he got from Adams Oshomole. That nobody believed he could go to that extent. I tell you, Nigerians, eh, hmm. see, when you think that... Um, when you think that uh, everything is in order, people are doing things this, certain, I know that. it's not true. And if you if you look at even the, uh, you know, it's very good that you promote your candidate. Even the promotion of his very own candidate, the person of Pastor Osage Ize Iyamu, is it just promotion or is there is an uh, there's another agenda to make sure that Ize Iyamu is controlled from proxy? Look at what is happening, my people. Look at what is happening. All the people that have been leaving Governor Gordon Obaseki's administration and have been saying, we go, we go, to make it look like he's having a, he's losing, you know, have, he's losing a grip on the, on the administration. Can you see that it is because these people were not picked by him? Can you imagine? These people were not picked by him. Of course, Adam Sushomole had a hand and you know, they worked together. It, nobody can deny that fact that they campaigned together and he became the governor of Edo State. Yes? And as such, being the former governor, he owe him a lot to say, okay, put this person as a commissioner of health. Put this man as commissioner of uh, this and that. He, he can't say no. So most of the people you are saying that are actually leaving the administration, the administration are people that Adams Oshomole put him put in there. And these people are trying to say governor to Gordon, Gordon Baseki, well, we are never friends. We are here to checkmate you. And um, I mean, if the, if the chiefs are down to your tent, oh uh, oh Israel, everybody go to yours. You know, that's why you are saying as though their master would have called them and say, See, I got you there. I made you the commissioner. I called him to put you there. So you you it's time to pay your dues. And he has little or nothing to say that, well, I'm resigning. That's what you are seeing happening in the administration, truly, really. And uh, that's just the simple case of what is happening. You know, Governor Gordon Obaseki said the president was shocked, thoroughly shocked when he saw that he was disqualified. You know, and guess what? If you follow the trend of all that happened during the dissolution of the NWC, you will see that even the president is not happy. You know, with all the that have been said, uh, you will. Uh, we, we, Godom is the national chairman. Victor is the national chairman. Back and forth. As soon as Gideon said, "Let us have the executive council meet," you know, and some quarters were saying it is. Uh, it is it, what he's saying is illegal. President will not attend. Immediately, he said that the president released a press statement saying, "Listen." I am coming for that meeting. I will be there. I will be there. And guess what? It was not an it was not a, 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 an opinion of some persons, or they take, took a vote a vote about it. It was President Muhammad Buhari, the person whom, you know, Oshomole stood for, went around the country, you know, campaigning for votes, was the person who raised the motion for NWC to be dissolved. What does that tell you? There is already grievance. There is already already things piled up. Saying, you know, if this man can go to this length, if he can be that angry, you know, there is a way you can be angry with somebody, you will be at the wrong. You are the one that was offended. Yes, but we are, people were already be sympathizing with you and saying, oh, what has been done to you is unfair. This should not be done. It's wrong. Blah, 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 blah. There is a way you will, you will, you will take that offense. Yeah, you go all overboard. You become the one that is wrong. Everybody begins to say what you did was not right now. And you are the one that was duly offended. Yes. You know, so I believe some of those actions he took began to say to the president, mm, mm, mm. forgiveness is very far from this man's dictionary. And this, this is the person leading the national team, the national chairman, you know, and people have been complaining. Don't forget that just before then, uh, there have been issues to say the, he, he, should be, he should be suspended. The president was the one that said, no, don't even suspend him. Dissolve the whole matter. Let it all go. 
you know so nigerians now waiting they happen with you so breaking news apple live media we keep you up to date yes we keep you up to date with all that is going on in nigeria and around the world you know nigerians stay tuned god bless you have a fantastic day bye for now